Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is currently 7.28 a.m. It's Monday, October 14th of 2024. Just thought I'd bring you guys to my work. I work at a dealership. I'm a technician or a mechanic, whatever you guys want to call me. I work on cars. Today's actually gonna be a really easy day though. Uh, I'm doing oil changes today, so I really don't mind. I know there's other guys out there that do, uh, I guess, real job as they, you know, they would say real work. Uh, where they want to do transmissions, engine stuff, you know, just, I guess, bigger stuff, you know what I mean? Like, things out of their, uh, well, things, I guess, above their pay grade, as they would say, but, uh, anyways, I'm one of those people that don't really give a fuck. I'm going to work. That's, I mean, what can I do, right? I just want to go to work, do what I have to do, and go back home. I mean, that's really about it. Another thing, my allergies have been killing me. Right now, I'm about to, like, sneeze. <laughs> we're good um so yeah uh, it's gonna be a really fun day it's monday i it should be kind of busy today i'm not really sure there's literally kids on vacation right now which makes no fucking sense in the middle of october i guess we're celebrating columbus day now i mean where's my freaking vacation time huh i'm about to go down to my district my school district and be like hey yo when i went to this school i didn't get no damn vacation dog so I'm going to go over there and complain one of these days. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But I don't know. I guess, like, they have so many freaking vacation time now. It's crazy. I mean, everything's being celebrated now. I might as well just make up my own holiday and have my day off and be like, hey, yo, boss, I can go in into work today, dog. It's my day off. And I just get fired on the spot. Fun story, though. Uh, actually, a really funny story. There was this one guy that worked at my place. And uh, <laughs> he would always show up and be like, oh, yeah, man. I remember when I used to pull up Ferraris and stuff. Bro can't even pull up a Miata, dog. I work at a Mazda dealership. And uh, where's my little logo? Oh, there it is. And uh, eventually he got fired because uh, I guess he worked too hard or some bullshit. And, uh, oh, that's that's so that's so sad. And then they just let him go. So that's tragic for that guy. They call him WNBA, though. That's really fucked up. <laughs> he was, like, really tall, slim, and, like, fucking had, like, long hair. It, that shit was so funny but anyways uh i'm gonna show you guys what i'm bringing to work so i got my lunch here i got my laptop obviously due to the mpis and uh, my water bottle other than that it's 7 30 let's go ahead and go to work and uh let's get this bread now obviously for me like i've said before i don't really mind doing oil changes i do other stuff as well brakes uh engine stuff here and there spark plugs all that good stuff i do other big jobs um i just don't it just depends you know it just really depends what they have for me on my toolbox um it just i don't know it, it really just depends on the day uh usually i don't really mind doing the pdis or pre-delivery inspections those are really easy i know many of like the other guys damn you hear those wet ass brakes pretty sure it came through the microphone but anyway uh, yeah, there's some other guys there that don't really like doing that type of stuff. They don't like doing oil changes, obviously. Uh, they don't like doing small stuff, you know, small fry stuff, rookie. Might as well talk about my job. Um, I definitely do like my job. I've missed this job. I've actually done this before. If you guys don't know, back when I started my YouTube channel, I'd always talk about like my days at work. And that's basically what I went back to doing. As you guys know, after that, what basically ended up happening in my old job is that they ended up letting a lot of people go, and uh, I was one of those people. And why did I get let go? I don't know. You, go, you guys know how corporations are. You know, uh, they, they'll fire you, make some budget cuts, all that stuff. So that's, how I, that's what I imagine what happened to a lot of us. So it is what it is. I mean, I, mean, I really can't do much about it. Um, other than that, after that, I went to a restaurant, and that was like my first ever time working at a restaurant. And I did not like working at a restaurant, dude. I, I did not. I worked there for like eight months, and eventually it got to the point where my schedule would be really inconsistent. I'd be working some days, and other days I would not be working. Like, I never had a specific day off, and that's what really pissed me off. Uh, it got to the point to where obviously i couldn't leave that job is because i got referred that job and i didn't want to leave the other person that referred that job 
in a bad state you know what I mean so I, what I had to do is literally just uh, kind of man up and I actually gave him my three week notice and eventually uh, I left that job what I ended up doing on that job I first started as a dishwasher which that was not fun at all especially during the weekends and eventually I moved up to the pantry line where they make all the salads and shit and then eventually I made it to the fry line and then uh, at last I made it to the fucking uh, cook line and uh, yeah I didn't know how to do the job I mean you can challenge me in really in any position I'll come out you know winning if you guys don't know I have a really good work ethic and if you like present any challenge towards me I will figure out a way to finish that job you know what I mean I'm not gonna bitch about it I'll learn I like learning new stuff so there's one thing I learned from that job is that cooking is a uh, fucking difficult and uh, two it's a really fast-paced environment and basically what ended up happening at that place so I ended up giving my three weeks right and I was like you know fuck this <laughs> I'm going to go find a, a fucking job back at a car dealership. And there's one thing I truly missed about working at a car dealership. Yes, there's some long ass hours, but guess what? I don't work Sundays. And when I worked at the restaurant, I worked Sundays almost every single damn time. I used to have Thursdays and Sundays off and eventually they like changed up my schedule. They could never get anyone else to fucking cover my shifts. But of course, I'm covering other people's shifts. And that's one thing that always pissed me off. When you work at a freaking car dealership, there's one thing that, that doesn't happen over there. No one's going to cover your shift. If you lose that day, you lose that day. That's on you. And that's one thing I truly missed about working at a car dealership. You're responsible for your own shit. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I truly did miss uh, working at a car dealership. And ever since uh, coming back to a car dealership, now I worked at a Mercedes dealership. And uh, working at a Mazda, you might say that's a downgrade. But guess what, dude? I don't have to deal with that fucking technology anymore. Fuck all that shit. I did not miss working at a fucking, all, with all that technology, and uh, it got really annoying after a while, but it was really easy, I mean, it's just, you hook up a computer, anyone with a fucking IT degree can, like, work as a technician there, if I'm being honest, I mean, they'll just teach you some stuff here and there, but, park somewhere else, now, I don't know why I went through here, I guess I'm trying to take the long way, I'm kind of early, though, I usually arrive, like, 30 minutes before I clock in, so, I'm just, the one of those people i'm just really responsible really um you just never know when it might be like a especially nowadays uh school's going on so you just have to be a little bit more vigilant and uh there's a lot of bus stops from time to time and uh they, they kind of hold you back but it is what it is there's nothing on the service drive over there so that's kind of scaring me already i hope it's really busy today man i don't really mind when it's busy i like money money I'm used to it, like I said. I'm really used to working in a fast environment, fast-paced environment, coming from a restaurant, so it doesn't really scare me, honestly, when I see a bunch of tickets. If anything, I get really happy because at least we uh, we have something to do. So that's all good. This is Genesis right here, which uh, they're going to be opening real soon. These are all the uh, employees park, I guess you want to say. Other than that, I'm gonna go put you guys in uh, incognito mode and uh, we're gonna walk into the shop and uh, get started. Clocking like around 7.45, 7.50. Doesn't really matter though. I'm here early. All right, so this is my, officially my first ticket of the day. Cute little key, ZX90. Small little car, little compact. I guess hatchback, you want to call it. Oh yeah. 
So the first thing I do, I just put on the sticker. Uh, it's something that you might be surprised that people forget to put the sticker on. It's something really small, but trust me, it happens. I usually just uh, print out the sticker and I put it on as soon as I get to the car. That way I don't have to worry about it. And I also just uh, reset the, the service light. That way I don't have to do that once I'm done with the car. So I do that and you still see the little wrench there. So you have to like sometimes do a double and then set up the next service. This one's due the next 5,000. Boom. That's it. I don't have to worry about it. All right, let's pull it in. So what I like to do is check the struts, tie rods, the bushings, all that good stuff, sway bar links, and see if they're uh, dry rotted or cracked or split or whatever. And I like to put it on the MPI. I check both sides and I also check the rear. Just like with that right there. So that's yeah, good all the way around. There's some grime on there, but it's not really affecting anything. If it was leaking, it would be really noticeable, but it's not. And that's how you know when your shocks are just leaking absolutely immensely. But other than that, this car only has 30,000 miles and it's, it's good for right now. Tire tread is another thing that we look at. Also the brakes all the way around. For example, these tires right here in the rear, I would recommend a rotation but I mean, they're still all right. You don't really have to. They're nine in the front and 10 in the rear. I usually recommend like a rotation or whatever. If say, for example, the tires in the rear were like at 11, right? Like almost brand new tires. And then tires in the front were like nine or an eight or something below an eight. And I'd be like, yeah, I would recommend a rotation since your tires are wearing unevenly. But we're not really necessarily recommending alignment unless there's some suspension issues or whatnot also we do check the brake pads brake pads all the way around on this particular vehicle it's uh eight in the rear eight millimeter on green and then in the front they're gonna be at nine millimeter on green so they're good all the way around you might be wondering why they're wearing unevenly it's normal considering that most of the weight of the vehicle when you brake is gonna be towards the front so your front brakes will either be wearing out a little bit faster than the rear ones but and then sometimes you get like that weird uh Thing where they start wearing out really unevenly and that's where you have an issue other than that all the brakes all the way around are good also for you mini hawkeye out there you're probably wondering i did not notice that oil i just noticed that oil it looks like the oil pan gasket like the seal around it's just either looks leaking oil through and it's a brand new car it only has like 30,000 miles on it check all that out gotta spray it with some brake cleaner and see that most of it comes off So that's really all uh just an oil change there was no rotate on the on the ro on the repair order so it's the oil change did my recommendations it's the filter cabin air filter and the engine air filter and also a uh, it's on a yellow when it comes to the brake fluid it's a little bit low it's recommended every twenty thousand miles specifically for this car so it's recommended at 40,000 and it only has 30,000. So it's going there. It's kind of, it was slightly murky. So that's why I put it at, at yellow. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Finally, lunchtime, 1.30. All right, so I still got 23 minutes left for my lunch. Clocking at 2.30. Uh, so far, it's been a really busy day. As soon as I uh, ended up the last uh, clip, it got really busy. So that's it got really busy. So I was really expecting it to get busy. If I'm being honest, day goes by a little bit faster, and uh, it's not bad. Um, it's been a so far a really good day, and uh, that's all that really matters. Probably wondering why this is in here, even though I don't really drink. I found it really cute, and I decided to buy it. And I just use this to open up my, my little Mexican bottles, you know, little Coca-Cola bottles, sometimes even Pepsi bottles. Basically like the glass bottles, the ones that get, you guys know what I'm talking about. So that's why I have that. But I personally don't really drink, but I just thought I'd buy that.
so it's been like two days um uh, i completely forgot about the vlog if i'm being honest uh, what ended up happening he got really busy then i stopped recording and then a whole day went by yesterday was tuesday today's wednesday so hello i'm still gonna add this to the vlog i guess uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this let me know the idea was to make a a day in the life type of video which i guess that's what it kind of is but not really uh when it comes to like me morning morning routines it's kind of overplayed i wake up like everyone else i feel like crap i wash my face i take a shower put on some clothes and go to work i mean um i rarely eat breakfast if i'm being honest then again i don't really have that much time usually i wake up like 30 minutes before i leave anyway so i don't really have that much time to get up make something to eat and then go to work i just get up brush my teeth wash my face take a shower put on some clothes and just be on my way um <laughs> that's really about it there's nothing special about my morning routine or anything like that i don't pretend to do like five miles in the morning at four in the morning or do some like crazy other stuff i just do average stuff like any other average adult would i mean working a nine to five really i'm at target right now well actually i just got back from target i was trying to find something i just couldn't find it if i'm being honest i kind of forgot when i walked in there there was one thing though i was trying to find it was the nesquik another bun type of flavor i'm gonna put it here in the i don't know you guys can see it right there if i find it so yeah i was trying to find that uh, they didn't have it i went to the other walmart they didn't have it it seems like they only have it at my personal local walmart closest to my house i tried to find it here because i was trying to find some other stuff uh, i was trying to find some like tools that i needed i went to o'reilly and i uh, just couldn't find what i was looking for uh, i could order it online but i just don't want to order online i kind of want to go in person and see it for myself in my own very two eyes so i couldn't find what i was looking for unfortunately so right now i'm actually heading towards another walmart to see if i can find that flavor and after that i'm heading home i believe i don't think there's really nothing else that i've uh oh yeah i bought some stuff i guess i might as well show you guys so i bought this at the other walmart the oreo joy the winter edition whatever the fuck and some body wash if you guys are curious what i'm using this is what i use that's what i buy and uh, i like the I like the scent of it, especially in the morning, like when you wake up and you take that shower and with that, you just feel so fresh. And I do moisturize, I do a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on whatever the next clip is. Alrighty, so we're finally home. Well, this has been one hell of a video. I've never really done something like this before where I share with you guys on what I do outside of just making really bad content on the internet but hopefully you guys enjoyed something that's the whole point and uh if you guys ever get the the chance or the opportunity to kind of pursue a career in not really a career but at least learning something about cars at least the basics i'm not saying taking apart a whole engine and doing some crazy stuff or anything like that you can if you want but at least learning the basics and some common knowledge about how a car works, some basic maintenances that you can do yourself. Because let's be honest, you know, not many people know about cars and they'll go to a dealership or some other auto parts shop and they get charged a lot of money, right? A lot of money. It's expensive. I get it. And let's be honest, cars are not a great investment, all right? As soon as you drive them out the lot, that thing drops 20% of its value. It's gone. You lost that money. It's over. So, if there's one thing you can take away from this video, hopefully that maybe opens up a path for you to learn about cars, learning the basic maintenance about a car, things you can do yourself, oil changes, spark plugs, just basic stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and review the stuff that I got at the store. So, I found myself the... DJ Khaled Cinnabon flavored uh, drink. I just drank this one. It's empty already, but 
if I had to give it a rating between a 7, it'd be a 7. 7 out of 10. Uh, it was good. I'm a big fan of, like, cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. But this one, compared to really anything else out there, pumpkin-flavored stuff at least, it's average. 7 out of 10. It could be worse, right? We got the Oreos body wash stuff here. And I went to Bath and Body Works and I picked up myself a pumpkin pecan waffles scent candle. So I can't wait to light that up. And pumpkin pie. Dude, I love pumpkin pie. I love the smell of it. I love this time of year. I love October. I love the fall. I love the cold. It was really chilly out there. Oh, dude, it feels so nice out there. And I picked up myself a second bottle here. I'll have this one later. Maybe uh, I got a bad batch. I don't know. I'll try it again. And I also picked up myself some body lotion, which I really needed. I was running really low. And another one for face. Face, body, and hair, which... Has anyone really tried this on their hair? I'm not really sure. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I've never tried it on my hair, but I've put it on my face and all that other stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Uh, I guess some updates that are coming up soon. Uh, I will be playing Black Ops 6 next Friday, October 25th, I believe. Yeah, next Friday is October 25th. So Black Ops 6 comes out that day. It might be coming out midnight, the day before, October 24th. But I won't be playing, I'll be asleep since I do have to work on Friday. So I'll be playing as soon as I get back from work. We'll be playing that, I'll be playing that live. I'll be making videos on the freaking game and talking shit about it. It's the same thing like last year, guys. We all buy the game, we play it for a month, it gets bored. It, it, just, it gets really bored real quick, let's be honest. And uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I love Black Ops. If you hate Black Ops 6, you're just a hater and you suck at Call of Duty, and you're trash. Unlike me, I'm freaking better than 8 Thoughts, Ghost of 8, uh, Nade Shot, Scumpy, Pomage, every single old phase member before me. Trash. I'm better than all of those guys. Subscribe, you guys are new. And let me know if you guys want to see more stuff uh, similar to this. I'll be down. And uh, I'm not really sure what I'll be naming this vlog oh yeah another thing i need to fix the audio on my playstation for some reason the audio is not coming through and i've tried messing around with like different hdmi cables and i don't know what's going on like usually i have audio coming through this monitor and then this other one is just like mute so i'm not sure what's really going on there i don't know i'm gonna have to probably take apart the whole setup again and just kind of plug everything back together one by one which is going to be really annoying. Uh, it's 1.15 of the afternoon, Wednesday the 16th. So it is what it is. I got some time. It's my day off anyways today, so might as well enjoy the rest of it. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, guys, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And uh, that's really about it. Thank you.